All right, well, let's have a look at some of the charts that you are looking at then. Now, Blue Scope is one of them. They have reported today. What are you seeing? Why did you pick this chart? So with, with Blue Scope, this is one of those companies that actually had an announcement a couple of weeks and they, they upgraded their guidance and um, released a lot of numbers to the market. So that made it uh, you know, safer coming into today's result um, because we knew what it was all going to be about. I really like this chart. I really wanted to show everyone this, this particular chart because there are all sorts of different charting patterns and, and of, you know, we speak about them uh, quite often. But you know, this is just a textbook example of basically an upside break of an ascending triangle, retest, uh, and, and on it goes. So coming back to, I guess, to the start of this, this particular pattern, with Bluescope, we did have a stock that was in an uptrend um, over the last several months or so. Um, and I guess regular viewers would have probably noticed that I like to buy these breakouts in an uptrend. I just feel like they're, they're safer, they're higher probability uh, than trying to pick uh, trying to pick lows uh, in, in, in stocks. So Blue Scope, as we could see, it trended up uh, into about April and then it traded sideways for a few months. Um, and what we noticed at, at the time was that there was some very clear resistance around $23. Um, and every time the stock price went up to that level, it dipped back. But you'd also notice that every time it dipped, it formed a higher low. So the diagonal line that I've got on that screen shows that each time it dipped, there was good buying coming in and it continued to give us these higher lows. So ultimately what you end up with is this triangular formation known as an ascending triangle. So up until a couple of weeks ago, to me, it was pretty clear that that we were just getting a share price that was taking a breather from the previous uptrend. And it was just a case of waiting for an upside break uh, and that was your buy signal. So a couple of weeks ago, the market, uh, sorry, the business flagged to the market um, that you know their earnings were strong, they were increasing the guidance, et cetera, et cetera, all these good things you want to hear. And then the stock broke to the upside, which I've circled. And as we could see, it closed near the high of the day. So that's that's basically the buy signal in, in blue scope. And although it didn't kick on straight away, we could see that for the several days after that, even though it did come back, it sat on top of that horizontal line. So it sat on top of the breakout, and this is what's known as a retest. And despite the, um, the results coming out today, we could see that it's been, been rallying over the last few days. So as I said, just a textbook example of, a, of an upside break. I think this has um, much further to go. Um, as I said, the, the breakout a couple of weeks ago was a buy signal. This is this is one that I've I've been more than happy to buy, but if you're not holding Blue Scope yet, um, of course, in an uptrend you have your highs and lows. So I think you can wait for another little dip, um, potentially back to towards $25, uh, and that'll be another buying opportunity because I think this one's got further to run.